My name is Caitlin Newman. I've been struggling with addictions, I think, ever since I was um, 14 and 15, and it really progressed um, starting with my depression and my anxiety, and um, because I didn't really get the help I needed and because I thought that I was alone, you know, that kind of started my, um, my struggles with addictions. I was a straight A student, I was on the International Baccalaureate track my sophomore year, and within six months I was failing all of my classes, I was skipping school because I didn't know where I could go and I didn't know who I could talk to, I kept that to myself and because of that, you know, I didn't really know how to ask for help and I never really did. It was other people who went to me first initially. I think one of the, the scariest parts about addictions is that um, it's a very isolating experience and realistically carrying the weight of that on your shoulders, it's hard and nobody should have to do that. Nobody should ever have to struggle alone. I would definitely say there's a sense of relief um, and just a sense of comfort to knowing that there's just one other person, even if it just is one other person, there's one other person that knows what's going on. It's all about figuring out what you're more comfortable with and figuring out who you can talk to and who you can confide in. There's a science behind addictions, so I think one of the most important things, you know, one piece of advice is to be kind to yourself and be patient with yourself and recognize that what you're struggling with right now, like I said before, it does not define you and it does not mean that this is what you're gonna be going through for the rest of your life. My future now, you know, when I think about it, it's exciting. I know that I'm not my diagnosis, I'm not my past, I'm not my struggles. You know, I'm Caitlin, I'm an artist, I'm a writer, um, I'm a student, and I'm all these other things, so I feel empowered.